So you decided to become certified. You decided to take the plunge and become Network Plus certified. The first thing you need to do is set aside time every day to study. You need to review this material constantly up until the day of the test and you need to do it pretty much on a daily basis. The next thing I would suggest doing, and this is a personal plug, is join MrFordsClass.net. Again, from the first video, membership is only $15 a month and this covers all of the content that's on the website. Feel free to look around on the internet for other sites offering training and you'll find that $15 a month is a huge savings over $500, $600 or $1000 just to take one course. Watch the videos and take notes. Well, we're going to release half the videos here on YouTube and the other half and the rest of the course on my website. On my website, I will have notes for you to download to study from. It's also important that you take your own notes as well. Take practice exams. If you remember from the last video when I talked about computer-based exams and how alone that can be a bit of a problem, well, guess what? You need to take practice exams. I would suggest probably one of the better test sites that I found is PassForSure.com. They have some of the most mm, accurate questions that are going to be on the exam. Now let me pause once again here and give a reality check. Many of these professional training companies have access to these questions. Now this is against CompTIA's guidelines and rules of engagement. But I know of several people out there who will screen capture tests as they go through them and add them to a test bank that they will then sell to students and colleges and trade schools. This is not fair. This is against the rules and policies of CompTIA. If you as a student are found doing this, you can be banned from CompTIA exams and I think Microsoft will give you a lifetime ban. Now what does this mean to you? This means to you that you need to take the practice questions. This is where it comes down to what kind of person you are. If you really want to be competent in what you're doing, then you will learn the material. You will practice the material. Because too many times we find that people will just get certified, we call them certification mills, they will go through programs where they just practice the test, practice the test, practice the test, get certified, land the job, and then get fired from the job because they don't have any hands-on skills. This is possible. If you are looking just for a certification without learning the materials, believe me, there are enough companies out there without any morals or values that will be happy to do that and take your money. And then you get fired from your job because you don't know what you're doing. I would suggest balancing the two out. Learning the materials so you know what you're doing on the job, but at the same time, practice the practice questions so when you take the exam, what you know in reality is reflected as well on the test. And this is why these videos will never be certified by any of the industries. Get your hands on networking equipment. One of the great ways to do this is go to, let's say, Goodwill, to pawn shops, uh, check your local schools if they have programs, check your local colleges, see if they have anything that they are throwing away or giving away. Uh, but you want to get your hands on some networking equipment to get experience doing this. Next, pick a date for your exam. I can't stress this enough. You need to pick a date and time to take the test. If you don't pick the day, you'll never take the test. It's all, I'm going to, I'm going to, I'm going to, I will. Pick the day. Make it about three months from now and you'll find that you actually get down to studying. And then buy a voucher. The signing up process is about a two-step process. The first thing you need to do is buy a voucher then you need to sign up to take the exam. The voucher is kind of like buying an airplane ticket through Orbitz or Travelocity or any of those sites or Kayak or any of these sites that do travel. You don't have to buy the ticket directly from whoever. All you need is a number, a barcode, they scan it and now you're in. So the voucher is kind of like buying a plane ticket through a travel site. This allows you to sit in front of a computer and take the exam. Right now, the exam costs $269 for the Network Plus exam. That's quite a bit of change. Nobody buys the vouchers at full price. There are discount sites out there that offer exam vouchers. These are not scams, by the way. I know it kind of sounds like a scam, but what occurs is 
places buy them in bulk and they get a discount. Okay, we have the retail value. You have the value that Comp T will place on the exams or, or the companies will place on the exams. Then you have training companies and other companies that will buy the exam. They'll mark up the price to make money on the exam, which is fine. I'm good with capitalism. And then they'll sell it to you, the consumer. So you can buy discounted vouchers out there. Two of the places that I've heard are pretty good and have pretty good prices are GetCertifiedForLess.com as of the recording of this, they had the Net Plus voucher for $259, or if you wanted to use it immediately, $229.99. I think it had like a, a week expiration date on it. The other place that I've heard of that has discounted vouchers is supervoucher.com, and this is at $269 or $229.95. Again, this one had an early expiration date. I would suggest that before you go online and buy a voucher, if you are at school, whether it's a high school or a college or a trade school, you ask around because sometimes your school will be able to provide vouchers for less than what you'd buy them retail. So check with your school. Also, check with your employer. Now, I don't know if Best Buy is still doing this, but five years ago, I had students in my face-to-face -face class at the college level that were able to buy vouchers based through the Best Buy's membership in CompTIA for less. So be sure to check around. Do not pay full price for the voucher unless you have money to burn. Okay, if you have money to burn, then go for it. But if you want to save some money, go get some discounted vouchers. They work just the same. Then you're going to use your voucher number and sign up at a Pearson View Testing Center. I'm putting the link here where you can go in order to find the testing center that's closest to you. Now, another word about this it is only going to show public testing centers. There are private testing centers out there. For example, here in Humble, Texas, in Humble ISD, we have testing centers that are available to students and faculty within the college. If you didn't know that, you wouldn't know to call them and see if you can set up an exam date. There are other places that you can also take exams. So check with your schools, especially if they have a trade, vocation, career tech program. Check with your colleges. See if they have a testing center. Keep in mind, many of these testing centers that aren't commercial based, the private, have part-time people doing this. In other words, it's not their full-time job. They have other jobs that they're doing, and so you might have to work with their hours or make an appointment. But there you go. In our next lesson, we're going to start taking a look at some of the fundamentals of networking. Until lesson two, see you later. Bye-bye.